Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissach. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it very, very much. And always glad to get uh, a discussion with some people that are making a difference, certainly in young people's lives. We welcome into the program Mona Lacombe. Uh, Mona, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good How morning. is everyone out there? And so uh, Mona is the in internal recruiting manager for Girl Scouts Louisiana East. So give us a little bit of an update of what's happening with the Girl Scouts right now. So in Girl Scouts Louisiana East right now, our focus is obviously providing programming, continue programming for our girls. But right now it's cookie season. Uh, so I think I'm here to talk about a little bit of both. Exactly, exactly. I know it's been a challenging time for everybody, but certainly very challenging for your Girl Scouts. And y'all rely pretty heavily uh, on cookie season, I know. Uh, but uh, tell us how they've been able to do this and continue to do this through COVID. So immediately, obviously, when COVID happened, we did a big pivot and we went virtual and we did. We still were able to provide programming for our girls, uh, lots of programming virtually. But cookie season is really important. 100% of our cookie sales, sales stay local and provide programming for the girls. So one of the things we, some of the things we've done is we have links. Uh, girls are able to create their own QR codes to send links to their families and friends. I mean, our digital platform for ABC Cookies has the ability to send e-cards. That's been there for a while, but it's definitely in this time of COVID, they can send to you know their neighbors, they know who their customers, their neighbors are that you know always buy specific cookies. They can send them a link and the person can order online, pay online with a credit card, and we can do uh, you know door drop off. We don't have to have that contact. Okay, very good. Now, uh, as your recruiting manager, I'm assuming one of the things is kind of making sure that y'all are getting new girls coming in and getting girls to kind of join Girl Scouts. How is that process going for you? So again, we were very um, positioned to be able to do virtual and we have provided since then, we, we've been able at the beginning of this year to go back a little bit into some in-person recruitments. We've done drive-through recruitments. We've even have a great program every Tuesday and Saturday. We offer what's called a virtual party. Um, we have a robot party. We have um, outdoor art party and the girls, you know, we can invite girls in through uh, a private Zoom that they're sent to their parents and they join one of the membership staff or a couple of membership staff and we do a sample event. What does Girl Scouts look like? It's been really fun doing those programs over the last year and a half. Very good. Have y'all been able to kind of maintain uh, the numbers that you normally do? I, I, I've heard that you have. That's exciting. We've been able to, um, you know, numbers dropped have dropped some nationally and locally, but we have been able to, like I said, continually pivot to provide that that online programming. Um, Girl Scouts USA came out with some great programming, and you know, sent it down to the to us, and we did our own program, and we even did training for troop leaders on Zoom when we went virtual. I mean, we immediately shifted our focus and how can we get those volunteers who may not have been comfortable with that technology. We did some, um, when I say in-person kind of virtual with us uh, training, then we recorded it and offered it to all our volunteers to help them again, pivot or move into that to continue with Girl Scouts. Fantastic. And listen, I know the people watching are, are just dying to hear about What's up with the cookies? So let's talk about that a little bit. We're going to go backwards and forward. There's about nine different cookies uh, that you guys offer, which is really cool. Uh, one that I'm very familiar with, we, we just found uh, in our pantry, the, the caramel chocolate chip. That one's become pretty popular, hasn't it? It has. That is our gluten-free option. I mean, now, you know, we have clients. We're trying to meet the needs of all our clients. I mean, um, so the gluten-free, the chocolate, the caramel chocolate chip is a great gluten-free option. Um, you and I were talking a little bit earlier about a breakfast cookie. The Toastier, right. as I said, was uh, has a cinnamon taste, kind of a cinnamon uh, toast, you know, that from this being in Louisiana in the South, I know what I ate some breakfast mornings was cinnamon right. toast. So that's a Great morning cookie with your coffee. Right. Um, we got the peanut butter patties. Peanut butter patties is a great staple. And then, of course, you know, I mean, I think the one that wins out for the majority of people is Thin Mints. Uh, yeah. um, it's, it's always first. It's first for me, <laughs> I can tell you. It's always first. But it's first on the list, too, which is really <laughs> cool. I love the fact that these are all very cost effective. $5 is pretty cheap. For, for these cookies, which is really exciting because you've been able to kind of stay cost effective with them and kind of makes an advantage for the girls to be able to get out and sell them. 
Absolutely. $5 a box, which, like I said, 100% of the revenue stays local here to provide programming for girls in Girl Scouts Louisiana East and the 23 parishes that we serve. So uh, I, I totally agree with you on the, the $5 a box is, yeah. you know, very affordable. Of course, and they have the peanut butter sandwich, lemonades, the shortbread, and, and the caramel delights. But, but there's one new one here uh, that I haven't seen or heard before. Tell us a little about the Adventurefuls. So the Adventurefuls, I have had the opportunity to, I take, I think these two, we were allowed it to as staff so we could try them. Um, they're brownie inspired. It has caramel flavored and it has a little bit of sea salt. Um, oh the, the brownie is, um, I've heard that it also, if you microwave them, I haven't had the opportunity to try that. We've gone into pre-sales. My daughter is a Girl Scout. So I'm thinking I'm going to order a bunch of those and try all the different ways that I can eat the Adventurefuls. They are one of my favorites now. I have added that to one of my favorite lists. So absolutely, I'd say try the new Adventurefuls. Wow. Yeah, well, obviously, and I'm a sucker for that because you always want to support the girls. It's just really important to support them and try to find a way to do that. But, but certainly, uh, I'm so very glad that uh, Mona, y'all are doing what you can to kind of maintain providing that opportunity for the Girl Scouts and, and letting people know to, it's, it's cookie season, so it's time to buy some cookies. Uh, we really appreciate you coming on and telling us a little bit about that. I appreciate the opportunity and please support the girls. Again, um, this program is one of our pillars, entrepreneurship, and it's teaching the girls five essential skills, goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics. And I mean, you know, we get those wonderful cookies to eat. So it's a wonderful trade off. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You do as well. All right. And that will do it for this edition of By Your Time. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming when we continue. Thank you.